Discount Dishonored with Working Stealth. I mean, Thief 2014 short video game review. You are thrown into the middle of a story revol revolving around the emo, goth, snarky, angsty young Aaron who never ceases to be obnoxious. Although, thankfully, she is just mysterious and a woman of few words for most of the game as you try to figure out if she's dead and contacting you from the afterlife, if she's alive somewhere, what is what is exactly going on. This is not the thief of the first three games. It is, however, a good stealth game overall. It definitely has problems, but yeah, if, if you go into it not not comparing it too much to the first three and only like or at least only in overall gameplay and a sort of an overall feel because this this is a reboot it gets rid of all the lore that the first three games you know let let you delve into and it's just it's not as compelling as those however the plot is moving from you know right out of the gate and you know, something new happens to develop it in every single mission. You, you know, the the world is as full, or almost, as in the the first two Thief games, where it's very clear that, yeah, this is this is a huge place, and it's not just the city. There are a lot of places that are, you know, yeah, in in completely different place, far away from the city, and far, yeah, you know, there are a lot of hidden mazes, and just, yeah, areas where you might encounter, you might expect to encounter vicious animals, or, you know, supernatural enemies. Unfortunately, there's almost nothing of that in this, and that is why the you know either that's why the fighting sucks or the fighting sucks is why but it boils down to you spend a lot of time going around empty areas and that is obviously not the, what you really want to do in a stealth game you want to sneak past enemies fortunately the hiding in the the dark still works although it's hard to hear enemies you know moving or otherwise but you do get an indicator if you are being seen, and it's much... The, the, yeah, unlike Dishonored, the stealth actually works, and you have a lot of options for it. You almost can't fight, but you can usually distract and then run. You have several weapons that will temporarily stun enemies, and especially in the City Hub, if you get to higher ground, they will not be able to follow. The... AI and sound has various bugs. Personally, I ran into very few, certainly no game-breaking ones, but for sure, I mean, I played it on the PC. I know that some, I, I'm not sure if it's PS3 or PS4, some have experienced a lot of bugs there and really devastating ones, and yeah, that is absolutely, I... I don't blame them for not. And some people have said that it was so boring that they quit, you know, fairly early on. I agree that it should grab you, but if you give it the first two missions or so and you're still not into it, then I agree. Then you're probably not going to be. But, yeah, for me, it was. It slowly built to that. And, yeah, it gets a lot right about the overall Thief experience. Just really making it a lot more linear and limited, but still making it possible. You can go through this entire game. You are never forced to straight up fight someone else. And you can, you know, and conversely, you can run through this game and knock out or kill not quite anyone, but a lot. And the you know the various magic abilities and upgrades and you know trinkets and such they don't really alter the gameplay that much they don't really allow you to tailor the the character to your preferred playstyle which they really should and in general the the RPG elements in this really aren't 
particularly good. But yeah, the, the missions are enjoyable and each is memorable in its own way with probably the, the real standout is the Asylum, which unfortunately is clearly a tribute to the Asylum of the third game, which was the actual standout of that game because that was the first time a Thief game had done a level quite like that, but here it does actually fit. It doesn't feel like the Master Thief suddenly just took a detour into Silent Hill. Overall, it is definitely a game that you should be careful not to expect too much of, but if you are if you are okay with lowering your expectations somewhat and allowing a mostly well-made game that is enjoyable if you get into its patience requiring you know slowly moving from shadow to shadow and avoiding being noticed as much as you can kind of gameplay yeah it's i found it quite satisfying and i love the first two thief games and appreciate that the third is a good game. Definitely this does not reach the level of any of them, but it gets a lot right. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.